as I am, anonymous in this world, just like, everybody else in it. We all are anonymous, every single entity here is anonymous, we all are alone. Whether we want to be, or not, none can escape from his own brain. Thoughts, trapped in your skull, escaping out is impossible, and also everything you see with your eyes will also be trapped, trapped in your grey brain cells, and in carved for eternity in the anonymous memory you have, brains. I am anonymous, and yet I know what is happening around me in this world, not only my world, but our world. I see a total mess, made by fellow humans and I will not forget, I even can't forget. We are all guilty of a crime made against humanity. If we do not accept to take the responsibility and stop these crimes that now take place, Anonymous has no remorse, Anonymous is not guilty, Anonymous is not to blame, the multi, million, mad, media machine that is telling you the so-called true story is to blame. Every Anonymous soul in this world must know the truth in the lie that here is given. Yes, even nicely presented by a man sitting behind a desk, dressed in a $1,000 suit, big screen monitors around him, telling us, the news, he is talking, and, in the meantime, with a big smile on his face looking, towards the TV camera, and, it looks as if his eyes are pinned, into the camera, the news, coming out of his mouth, looks like, a waterfall of words, and without even a blink of his eyes, he reads, out loud, the words, not his own, written, and scrolling by, on a monitor, underneath the video camera, on the other side, are you, sitting, in front of your TV, looking at this, news show, what news show, what is happening, what is the news, maybe, I could better ask you, what is not, the news, during the show, viewers, are getting so much false information, that they, are beginning to believe, all of what they hear and see. The media, is deliberately spreading out so much false information, with only one goal, with the purpose, to manipulate the viewers. The real, honest, true news, is now covered in a blanket of mist. And finding the truth, is now, becoming almost not traceable. People should be aware of the dangers that rise caused by these false flag news lies. Manipulation of the mass is a powerful weapon, and when preformed through the media like TV, the impact of the manipulation is gigantic, simply through the number of reachable manipulants. Mass media manipulation is one of the names of the instruments they use. The truth is not yet being televised. You are being conditionized, and kept unaware of the reality, by enslavement, and chained, for usage, in a misleading social, financial and economical trap, programmed and indoctrinated, by those who harvest, your efforts made, by working in this falsified society, like a sheep, without notice of its enslavement. What is your value? How high or low are you classified by others? Can you? And do you? Want to survive this torture of your spiritual personal consciousness? And yet still there are those who want to control you. We are all only a one-time made prototype of a humanoid life form called Homo sapient. Don't forget, everybody is unique in existence. We are all individuals, none of us is the same. You are the center of your own perception spiritual bounded in a physical body. We must start to make a world without borders, with no leaders and we must stand as equals side by side, regardless of color, religion, age, sex or other variety. Remember that we are equals in only one way, the only shared factor is the fact that we all are born on the same planet in a one shared universe. You don't have to be deaf, for not understanding the words I speak, and even not blind, to see the coming collapse and extinction of all living creatures here on earth. We do not forgive the crimes that are already been made by others who have selfish intentions, living without respect for other humans or for the flora and fauna in all of its diversity in which we live. Destruction of the ruling powers is necessarily, emperors, kings and queens, rulers, 
dictators or leaders of any kind here existing on this planet. I will not accept laws and rules made by any type or form of reign, administration or ruling body. I will fight to the death, for freedom and justice. Not driven by selfishness and egoism. We are in constant change, by mean of content and change by leaders. Fear and the loss of freedom, are the cause of almost all of the conflicts we have. It is good to look at the past, and it is good to learn of an error. But in base is damage the only constant factor. Damage leads to malfunction and malfunction leads to even more damage. If we look around us, we see a constant battle between the exchange of goods, and with purpose to harvest the most. Greater than behavior is in form mentality, and with our human behavior, one quickly would come to his conclusion that a total destruction of everything around us, the logical consequence, will be. It makes no sense to nurse the wounds if one is loaded in a fight. Course nursing is a derivation of the moment. Words now hear to be in a way that are not be to understand. Many hear what the context is, but don't understand the meaning of the content. What is the purpose? That's the question the survival of humanity, what responsibility one has, and, relative to whom, through the years, we lost sight of the basics, and so, polluted, and damaged, our society. We have created a world, with ever greater differences. We are driven by selfishness, driven by power, driven by control, and by our fear, resulting that it is now, slowly driving us into the abyss. A frequently asked question is, what if, what if, what if there is no possible answer? The difference between all imaginable shapes there are, were in fact, all of that the answers. Diversity, is the difference, and the difference, is the individual. It's the awareness, of the situation, in which we now all are, and it is a bit our reality, in which we now, find ourselves. For many of us, the need to survive, is already disappeared. We are looking for answers, to questions that we don't even know. How is it possible, to wage war, and state, it is for the sake of peace. What is peace, when it is obtained through, or by, violence? And, what is a religion, without a god? Questions, without an answer? Questions without, an answer, are, no questions.